Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So I'm going to continue my uh, Lobby Adventures of Man-at-Arms and Arbalist group. Uh, and I think for now, I'm going to continue to run with no trinkets. We'll see. I might add some in at some point, but I'm going to keep running without them for now. Uh, there's a couple people that wanted to be added. So let's take a look here. First, Hero, Hero Wolf wanted to be an Arbalist, so... Here you go, and wanted it spelled this way, so welcome aboard. And then also, let's see, who else? Oh, that's right, Mono wanted a character, so here you go, you wanted a man-at-arms, welcome aboard. So at this point, my roster's full, and every single person on here is a subscriber. Uh, so I don't have any more spots open right now, but I've already decided that if, unfortunately, someone should perish, um, then that spot will open up and I'll give someone else who's a subscriber an opportunity to be on the roster. So if you're interested, um, then go ahead and put your request in the comments below this video and I will add you to that list. All right, now let's see. Everyone here is already trained up and has had their armor and stuff purchased. So I think we just need to look for a quest. What do we want to do? Uh, kill the Sonoras Prophet? No, no, no. I don't think we're doing that right now. There's still These guys still aren't ready for that. I think what I'm going to do is some of these boss fights I'll be tackling with higher end characters. Uh, and just like I did yesterday, I will likely put out two Darkest Dungeon videos today. So one will be focused on these low B characters and then another one on my higher end characters. Okay, let's see. Activate the Corrupted Altar. Eh. What about down here in the Warrens? No. Short Explorer, 90% of rooms. What's the reward? Alright, it's a quick little mission. Let's do this. Okay, so... Right here, right here. Okay, I'll provision up and I'll meet you on the other side. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Alright, let me double check the skills. Yeah, that looks right. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've got plus one crit. Okay, so then that means you get to be the mark person. And you be the suppressing fire person. Yep, that'll work. Hello, ectoplasms. Goodbye, ectoplasm. <laughs> right where it hurts. In the slimy, squishy part of his chest. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, here's one of those really tricksy left luggages. This is a shovel. Don't use this. This is a key. Use this. <laughs> ah, if only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Interesting. Plus ten. Wrap this iron plus four dodge. Huh. That whole use the key instead of a shovel thing, that's in reference to a different episode, so... If you missed it... We will be running dark, as you can see as our light fades away. I could just kill it now, but... No sense doing that. 
doing this primarily for testing reasons. I, I don't, um, I actually do not suggest this if you're new to Darkest Dungeon and you have a newer set of characters. Trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. And you have a newer set of characters like this. Um, don't, uh, well, I mean, you can do what you want to do, but I, I highly suggest you don't try to run things in the dark. Um, as you can see here, you get significant increases to stress as things get darker. Um, you get surprised more often, so if you're not experienced with Darkest Dungeon, especially after the um, Fiends and Frenzy update from May 28th of this year, where they changed a lot of dynamics, you really probably shouldn't. Um, Alright, well, I have two shovels. Hold on. How much more of this dungeon we got? You know what? We're going to bypass this, and we're going to save our shovels. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. Or blocked passages. With misintent. I'm okay with giving up potentially a little bit of loot to not have to pick up stress. I could always backtrack for it if I want it that bad. But like I was saying, again, if you're if you're new to Darkest Dungeon, you might want to avoid running in the complete dark like this. Yeah. Darkness closes in. So plus four to stress at this point. Yeah, monster ACC and damage, heroes surprise more. Now, in theory, we get more crits and loot, but especially with lower end characters like this, you can't count on the crits. Yeah, go ahead and loot. More ectoplasms. Is it ectoplasms or ectoplasmi? That is the question. There we go, set retribution. If you're not familiar with this mechanic, what happened right there is I went ahead and hit him, does initial damage, it sets repost. So if anyone then strikes on him again, there's going to be a counter. So we're just going to set that on both of these. It does also self-mark you, so you can potentially take more damage, but that's okay. That's kind of what the man at arms are supposed to do, right? Don't you do your swishy thing at me. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, mushroom heads. We're surprised. All right. You're going to pull me forward? Oh, good gal, cultist acolyte. Um, I think we'll... Yeah, let's slide forward. Take a sniper shot back here. Blind fire? Yeah, why not? Destroyed. And we get a speed buff from that. That was nice. Okay, so let's do retribution. Hmm. Actually, I kind of want to kill her. Yeah, let's focus on killing her. Arbalist can can tank a few hits if it needs to. Retribution. Yeah, let's get rid of her. And... Hmm. Mark? Set Retribution again. There we go. And it's stunned. Uh, I guess Blind Fire. Okay, and... Set... Repost again, and sniper shot that guy. Since he was marked and all.
These nightmarish creatures can be felled. Slide back into position. Seen. Eat up. Hacks laden with loot are often low on nice. supplies. Nice. All right. Remember, don't drop trinkets even if you're not interested in them because they're worth money. You can always sell them now. Oh, hello, fellas. Uh, hmm. Suppressing fire actually might be worth it here. Yeah, let's go ahead and debuff them. Okay, let's see. Set on you. Yep. Actually, kill you. Yep. There we go. And set retribution on you. Go ahead and take your strike, pal. Or die. That's the other option, I guess. There we go. This expedition at least promises success. Oh, turn it. Right. Bandage. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. It must be carried home. Right. Agreed. Oh, there's a curio in here. All right. Okay, that was worth stepping back for, I guess. Even if you're doing a dark run, it's always a good idea to check the torches, because you don't always just loot a torch. Sometimes you loot other things with it, gold and whatnot. No? All right, let's keep going. Oh, hello, doggies. These guys seem to be given rabies a lot easier these days, too. Which does give you plus 20% damage, but minus 10% accuracy. Um, How quickly the tide I don't really like rabies. Some people fish for it. I don't. Okay, let's slide back. Mm. Yeah, slide back. Slide forward. And here we go. Set repost. Nice. Good hit. Okay, what's your what's your bleed stack now? Three damage per turn? Uh, I guess that's not too bad. Let's see. Oh. out of bandages. Alright, well. Suppressing fire on these two. And sniper's mark on you. Retribution. Oh, so much for that mark. <laughs> Death 
Oh, 25 crit. Nice. Good job. Concentration. Okay, grab Remind the gold. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Come on, what are you full? Yep, okay. Let's see, what else we got? Anything worth going after? Not really, just a trap. So the question is, do I go all the way back for this one piece of loot? And the answer to that is no. So let's go to town. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harried. Okay, so level two on a couple of these, or three of these. Known cheat, not allowed to gamble. Resilient, plus 10 stress heal, that's nice. Stout, plus 15 healing skills while camping. Quick reflexes, plus two speed, that's really nice, actually. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Okay, sort by stress. Gotta put some people in for some drinking and whatnot. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and that you join me for the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.